Hey, people, Zara Swamp here, and welcome to episode 38 of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we completed all of the Trouble Center quests that became available after completing chapter 6, one of which gave us a card that unlocked Power Rush badges at the Pianta Parlor. So, between ending the last episode off and beginning this one during the time between videos... I was busy. I basically played the I played the paper game several times and because of that I won all of these power rush badges. Look at all these power rush badges that we've got. That is 11 power rush badges in total right here for us. So yeah, basically we are packing heat when it comes to attack. I've also went and spent some our star, our star points to buy basically to buy basically an extra pretty lucky badge from Dazzle, as was the Flower Saver P badge. That way, basically, if I decide to use Rally Wink with Goombella, I basically I'm saving one PP. I'm saving one FP. Uh, I'm getting all of my TPs, BPs. This is what happens when you do a Bug Fable stream the night before. But anyways, as you can see, we are we are packed to the teeth with all kinds of badges that can help us out. Basically, Ice Power, just in case we run into any ice enemy, any fire enemies close calls and pretty luckies just so that way we can dodge attacks and with that as you can see by the fact that we are in the pit of 100 trials you could probably guess what the day's episode is so anyways because of the nature of the pit of 100 trials as well as how overpowered we are in our current state I think it would probably be best for us to do a montage where basically I speed through all the floors and then I'll basically make, I'll return the footage back to normal once we get to floor 100. So without further ado, montage time.
have made it nearly to the bottom of the pit of one of the trials. As you can see, Danger Mario is an absolute beast. And as you get further down and down and down into the pit, you basically, you just fight stronger and stronger enemies. And you're just leveling up like mad. And you can just level up your BP like crazy. Just being, yeah, I mean, look at this. I was able to put two, I was able to put Lucky Day, as well as two Defense Plus badges on it. I still have plenty to spare. So yeah, anyways, in regards to the badges that we've just gotten, I'll just show them off. Okay, Lucky Day, this is basically an enhanced version of Pretty Lucky. This is going to help us out even more to just avoid even more attacks. We also got Bump Attack, which basically means that if you bump, if you encounter an enemy that will give you zero EXP whatsoever, basically. The battle's only gonna give you the default one star point. Just, the enemy will be instantly defeated. Uh, any contact, boom, they're dead. Double dip P and double dip, I went over the effects of these when we got the first double dip. Double dip basically lets you use, use a move that lets you use two items at once if you have both this double dip and the one that we found in Rogueport equipped. Then you can actually do triple dip which lets you use three items, double dip P, basically, it's like double dip except your partner uses it, and Pity Flower, which is arguably one of the worst badges in the game, because whenever Mario takes damage, you occasionally recover one FP. This isn't even a, oh, you're guaranteed to recover the one FP. You may sometimes gain one FP. As such, Pity Flower. So basically, yeah, this one really isn't much, isn't worth your time. But anyways, so with that, what do you think is lurking, waiting for us at 4100? Well, we're going to find out. What a freak! Tattle! Bone Tail! That's Bone Tail! He's the oldest brother of Hook Tail! So old, he's just boned! In fact, wow, wow, that's old! His body's max HP is 200, his attack is 8, and his defense is 2. He has various breaths that might confuse us or us to sleep. When his HP gets low, he'll recover, or reanimate as the case may be. He's probably stronger than the last boss. Seriously, let's do this right. Yes, as stated just now, Hook Bone Tail is the strongest enemy in the game. A whopping 200 HP, 80 more than the final boss. So basically, essentially, Bone Tail is an enhanced version of Hook Tail. Basically, everything that Hook Tail could do, Bone Tail can do better. Status effect breaths, stomping attacks, and as stated before, an attack that just lets him heal instantly. But anyways. But he is no match for the power of Danger Mario! Yeah, he's one of the few enemies that's actually gonna survive the pit. Okay, man, anyways. And with that, boom, we won. Oh. One star point! You will get star one star point no matter what. And boom. And for your reward, you get... Return postage. Basically, this is a... This is a permanent spite sack where basically you use this and half of the damage you take from enemies will go right back to them. I mean, basically this badge is okay. If you're running this on a standard Mario build, then it can work because, well, you're taking damage because you're going to be taking damage and so you might as well just send a little bit back your enemy's way. Though, the thing is, is that if you're running a danger build like I am, where you're basically banking on not taking damage, this badge is not going to really do all that much. But hey, I mean, it's it's there. Yes, yeah, so you get to listen to this music for, for as long as you're in the pit. Hey, yeah, we can't tattle Bone Tail. 
This is the lowest floor in the Pit of Wonder Trials. A zombified dragon named Bone Tail used to protect this room. Yuck! Mario, I bet you're the first person to make it this far. I totally knew you'd do it. Now let's get out of this creepy place and back to the world above, okay? And the pipe, the, and the pipe taking us there is right over there. You can't go any lower. You can only go up. But yeah, I always love doing that. Just making Danger Mario and then just trashing the Pit of Wonder Trials. Though, given the nature of just this video where it was mostly just a montage, I think it would, I think basically we can go and we can just get started on making our way to chapter 7. Because, I mean, we, it's been more than three minutes, so let's get out of here. And head back up to the surface above. Okay. Let's get going. Yeah, because you have to talk to Professor Frankly. If you don't talk to him and you just go to the location of Chapter 7, then basically the game's going to be like, well, too bad. You can't continue. So, yeah, let's just get going. Yeah, as you can tell, though, just by... If you can take out the enemies in the Pit of Wonder Trials, then everything else is going to die. I mean, look at this. My game can barely handle the power of Danger Mario. And we're not even getting experience. Look at this. Yeah, we're going to be getting no experience from pretty much anything. If I get any level ups, it's going to go right into FP. Because I really don't need BP. I really don't. Just, I mean, we have plenty to go off of. And I mean everything is going, nothing, pretty much anything. Pretty much nothing is going to give us experience. Just these hammer bros, no experience. That magic Koopa, no experience. Because basically, every time you gain a level, basically, all the enemies in the world, basically, they'll give you a little less EXP. So basically, when you're doing what I did, which was just rush the Pit of Wonder Trials, it can completely mess with you. It can basically make it where, oh hey, you're not getting much experience because, well, you really don't need it. I mean, you made your way through 100 floors of pain. So anyways, let's get going. Head over here. And let's talk to Professor Frankly. Ah, excellent timing! I finally have it, Mario! I found a way that might get you to the moon! You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you! Ah, hello? We're using our cannon to get to the moon? Isn't that, like, dangerous? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts on Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere. They say it on the Yellow Pages ad. Ergo, it must be 100% true. No one lies in the Yellow Pages, Mario. If someone lies in the Yellow Pages, then what is society? We have no society whatsoever. If you can't believe the Yellow Pages, then what can you believe? Even to the moon. Don't worry. If it fails, I will buy a class action lawsuit in your honor. And using the money, I will plant 300 trees in Federal Meadows in your name. Great, sounds super, re sounds super, really. So where's Far Outpost anyways? I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath the road port. But I'm not sure to the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Well, it's party time then. We already got one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject. Now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the bite of our outpost, then. Go get it! You got it, Professor. Far outpost, here we come. Oh, yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The pop who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Get that last crystal star. Okay, anyways. We'll go down, and we'll go get it. Basically, once we get to the next area, I think I'll save. Actually, no, no, no. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll actually get to Far Outpost. And then, basically, we'll save. Because the next episode is going to be a real, real fun time. But without further ado, let's get going. Okay. Anyways... 
go over here, just jump across these platforms, and there it is. Boom. Actually, wait, wait. For that, though. Ah, no! I wanted to check something out. I wanted to check it out. Okay. Boom, boom. Yeah, but anyways, the Flower Finder badge. That was the badge that just really pulled the, pulled this Danger Mario spill together. Because basically, every time you... Because pretty much after every battle, you're going to get around two or so flower points. So basically, just you can you can get a perpetual multi-bounce going. Okay, next badge. Flower Saver B. Okay, I'll put that on. Because I mean, really, just we don't really have many uh, many badges that just I would really want to equip to Mario. Yeah, which is why I just I'm going to stop upgrading BPF just starting this next level up. Even though there probably won't be any le that many level ups after this point. I mean, we'll probably have one more level up, maybe one, maybe two, and that's a big maybe on the second one. But yeah, I'm, I feel pretty satisfied with our build so far. But anyways, let's head down. Yeah, though in terms of Mario's alternate outfits, I do have to say that I like the look of the Waluigi outfit. I mean, I like it a little better than the Wario, admittedly enough. Though, in terms of... Though, I would have to say the Luigi does look the best. Chapter 7! Mario shoots the moon! And even if he misses, he'll still land among the stars. Anyways, it's not a Mario, a Paper Mario game unless it ends in an ice area. Or rather, one of the last chapters is an, is an ice area. It is stupid cold out here! Come on, Gonzales, let's move! Our apples should be just a bit, I think. Anyways, even though we don't need to buy any, any enemies, what I plan on doing is, if we encounter an enemy that basically I don't have a title for, we'll get a title for it. Okay, thank you. I'll grab that. Yeah, we ran to a few of the... We ran to all the enemies that we can encounter in this area in the Pit 100 Trials, so they really shouldn't pose much of a threat. Basically, we encountered this guy somewhere mid-range mid on the floors. Basically, these are Ice Puffs. Basically, Ice Puffs. They are essentially like Rough Puffs, but they are Ice and they are bulkier. That's an Ice Puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in snow cold areas. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that maybe. Yeah, you know what they're also weak to? They're weak to Danger Mario. Everything in this game is weak to Danger Mario. Danger Mario is an absolute menace to society. Okay, I don't need Ruin Powder. Okay, I did not need to encounter you. Hey, I'll fight you anyways. Okay, multi-bounce. But really, just some be Basically, when it comes to Danger Mario and builds like that, just a lot of people tend to have more have mixed views. Some people believe that just it's absolutely broken. It takes the fun out of the game. Whereas for me, on the other hand, I can't get enough of Danger Mario builds and the like. Because just there's something gratifying, just something empowering about becoming so strong that nothing in the game can stand against you. That's a Frost Piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its spike attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks, too, so use them as well. And Danger Mario, don't forget Danger Mario. Everything is weak to Danger Mario. Thank you, I'll take that. Okay, and yeah, we don't need to fight you. HP plus. Okay, I was just trying to get away. Yep, 
Yeah, basically our burgers are never really gonna be getting much action. Goobella is just gonna be standing there watching in awe of what Danger Mario is capable of. Okay. Let's get going. And welcome to Far Outpost. So this is Far Outpost. I wonder where the cannon that shoots to the moon is. I guess we should stop by talking to the villagers, don't you think? Okay, first off, let's grab that star piece. And let us search. Let us search for a state block or something. Okay, there's the state block. Okay, Dupree. Yes, Dupree is here. And there's an incubon if you so desire. You gotta hand it to this guy. To come out to even this forsaken place? Talk about total, t total tenacious. This dude is serious. Uh, Monsieur Lestache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out. So now I must use the eat of my feelings for air to melt this snow. <laughs> really, it would be hilarious if basically they had it where Dupree's love and passion was an actual form of heat, and just around Dupree, just it was just all greenery. But anyways, with that, I think that now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate it that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.